Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to swap columns when you're on mobile. Now what this does is say you have a setup like this. You have a text on the left, image on the right, and then the next one you have an image on the left, text on the right. When you go to mobile, the two images are going to be on top of each other. And some may like that, but a lot of you have been requesting to not have something like that. So with just a few lines of CSS, we're going to be able to make this so that the image is below this main text. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and add the class to your row. So once you are actually in your layout in your row, you're going to click the inspector tool, go to customize at the top, and you're going to type in row underscore reverse. From there, you're going to go into your CSS over here on the left. And you're going to type out this code right here. And I'm going to put this in the comment in the description below just so you guys have it. And it's basically saying that basically on anything, any screen size, 767 pixels and smaller, we need to make it so that the, the class selector row reverse is going to display flex. It's going to wrap it so that way your text, your columns go underneath of each other like normal. And then it's going to be a column reverse. Basically, it's going to go ahead and flip the column so that the headline appears above the image. Now, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, so as you can see, we have our headline here, image, and then we have our headline here in image. But on desktop, it still has the, the two layouts just like we like okay and it's completely mobile friendly this is uh basically just using uh flex which is how version 2 of cornerstone is uh built and you can see the thing that does it is this flex direction once we've removed that that's what actually allows us to have the flex direction if we only add that and we don't have anything else then it's not going to work as we need to initiate the flex and then for flex wrap we want to make sure we have that so that it just looks nicely and it'll start wrapping when it runs out of space so just using that simple uh, a couple lines of CSS right here um, we really are able to go ahead and change the layout without actually hiding different sections and we don't have to create multiple sections just so you can actually view it on a mobile device because that's not the way you should you should build your site but build it mobile friendly first and then work on your desktop um, and with some flex and there's other ways we can do this too we could have added uh, order an uh, order element to your column but this is the easiest way to do it when you have a two column setup like this when you have a three column setup then that's a little bit more in depth and that's using order instead of flex direction but we can go ahead and get in that in another video if you guys want to go ahead and do that let me know if you have any comments down below and i will see you guys on the next one thanks